Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this video you are going to learn about database connector in Mule 4. Let's jump into the application development. Open any point studio, click on file new Mule project and give the project name then click on finish. Now drag and drop HTTP listener connector to get the request for your service. Click on New Connector Configurations, give the host name and port number for your service, click on Test Connection. If the port number is not in use, then you will get Test Connection as successful message, click on OK and also provide path to it. By default Mule 4 won't have the database module so, go to the Mule palette and click on Add Module, and select the database, and click on Finish. In earlier Mule versions, a single database connector has multiple operations. But in Mule 4 version, for each operation there is a connector like bulk update, bulk insert, bulk delete, execute script, select, insert, update, delete, execute DDL and stored procedure connectors. Now drag and drop database update connector into the canvas. Add new connection, select the type of database you need. Add the dependencies and give the required configuration like host name, port number, user, password and instance and test your connection. If your connection properties are true then your test connection is successful. Write an update query to update the records in the database dynamically. In order to send the records dynamically we need to create the variables and set variable values from query params in a structured JSON format in input parameters tab, we are going to fetch the query params details from the attributes. By default HTTP listener have the response, as the payload or you can overwrite it, with appropriate success message. Now save and run your mule project. By default Mule will download required artifacts from the Maven repository. Once your project don't have any errors, then it shows a success message as deployed. Now go to Postman, give the service URL and set query params according to given query params in the application and then click on send. Congratulations your service is working fine. Now you can see the response with success message as database updated successful. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at mule4beta at eiesp.com.